Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to vidcast number 13. I know number 12 wasn't exactly the greatest game in the world, but, you know, I I don't want to waste our time on it, so I didn't upload it anyway. Oh, well. You'll get the good ones and the bad ones sometimes. Anyway, we are on Langris once again with uh, Krausen as the Panzer Elite versus HQ Storm as the Americans. And with me are my two fellow clanmates, Handsome Rob and Eclipse. Howdy. Hello. <laughs> Well, hopefully, uh, according to people who have seen this vi this vid, I will not n name names. Uh, <laughs> the match w is going to be a good one, so hopefully it'll make up for last last week. All right, get ready to hit your play buttons, boys! In five, four, three, two, one, hit it, and we're off. Oh, some polite banter. Hi. Hi again. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> GLHF. Indeed. Alright, two pins of grenadier squads coming out. I see that. Got a two energy star from HQ Storm. Immediately throw up a uh, barracks. I see that as well. Spreading their forces out. Getting surrounding territory with the Kettencrad leapfrogging to a manpower point pretty quick. Not a bad idea, really. Yeah, with the the way that territory is uh, connected, that's really not a bad idea with that one. Indeed. Where's that Kettencrad going? Ah. Going straight for the fuel point. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. More Panzer Grenadiers coming up from Krasen, and uh, anything else building from? The oh, we got riflemen on the field. Yeah. Yeah, pretty slow start from the looks of it. Yep. And a VP. Oh, I thought was going to get captured, but no. Well, that's usually a good sign that you know. This might be a good game. Most good players usually will forego the VPs in favor of getting resource points first because those are kind of more important than starting to put the pressure on your opponent. And we got conflict in the we east. Got fire in the west. Or west, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I got that messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing, moving in to take the munitions. He's got fuel dominance right now, actually. Oh, yeah. He's got uh, plus 21. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, engineers are capping on the left-hand side. We've got contact in mid-right. Two Panzer Grenadiers against an engineer squad. That does not look good. Oh, they got riflemen with them, too. As well as conflict in the left. Panzer Grenadiers with Gewehr 43s in the house just picking off the riflemen from afar. HQ Storm pulling back. Well, at this point right now, it seems that Crossan has pretty good map control. If whatever had, hasn't captured by uh, HP Storm is neutral. Panzer Grenadiers trying to cut off the fuel point on the right from the Americans. Engineers and riflemen trying to stop them. But, uh oh, oh. Sandwich of riflemen on these two Panzer Grenadier squads. Oh, he's got, yep, he's pulling out. That's a very good idea. But he did cut off some fuel income from the Americans, so that should at least slow them down for a little bit in that area. Yet another rifleman squad moving up. Krausen moving back to capture that uh, fuel point on the, on the west. Ugh. Fortunately, another Panzer's Grenadier squad runs into the two rifleman squads and is forced to pull back. 
And what is he? No, oh, more Panzer Grenadiers coming from Krausen. Jeez. And uh, we got Rifleman trying to take the manpower point next to his base. But now it's his turn to start pulling out the numbers game with his Panzer Grenadiers. Rifleman set up on a nice heavy cover position trying to uh, pick off some Panzer Grenadiers. Oh. This could really get ugly. Uh oh. What happened? Crossing. Crossing moving in on the south man point to cut him off from the fuel again. Yeah, I noticed that with a Ketten. And he does it! Right side's been cut. That's a nice point harassment. More riflemen. Wow. It's just Panzer Grenadier spam versus uh, rifleman spam right now. Ooh, and the Panzer Grenadiers with Gewehrs are pulling back. We got another Gewehr 43 upgrade. But yeah, ooh, five pa Panzer Grenadier squads versus three rifle, uh, two rifle squads, and a flamethrower team. This is gonna be interesting. He's gonna pull that kitten grab from the field point. Oh yeah, but he, he did his job. He's doing nice micromanagement of constantly harassing his points uh, and pulling out. Meanwhile, it's just ooh man. Panzer Grenadiers are winning the battle, forcing the Americans to pull back. And finally, Panzer, the Panzer Elite is finally building a, another building, the Logistics Company. Looks like we're going to focus a lot on Panzer Grenadiers this game. Gee, I wonder... <sighs> Got a supply yard coming up for the Allies. Hmm. I was wondering why there wasn't a lot of infantry on the field. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a boon if he plans on constantly using infantry. Ken Krad under her attack by riflemen, and the Panzer Grenadier force is being attacked by Pyro, oh, Pyro man. Squad, and three rifle squads. Wow. They are being forced to fall back. That's, that's an, always a nice strategy. I mean, you basically have to think of the engineer pyro team, as I like to call it, as the same thing as the pyro in uh, Team Fortress 2. You can't use them head-on, because they'll get slaughtered. But if as, as long as, you know, you can use them to flank, that can be pretty devastating. I mean, once they get close enough to enemy infantry, and as long as they don't get attacked, they should be able to cause quite a bit of damage. Wow. Most definitely. And uh, Crossan lost his Kettengrad to a couple of uh, rifleman squads. I didn't see that, but I see the damage they're doing in terms of point harassment. The entire right side is falling to the Americans. This is not good for Crossan. Wow, we got a Panzer yeah, but he's kept in the uh He's kept in the VP on the uh, west side that the Allies used to hold. Yeah, well... HQ Storm's uh, grabbing uh, territory. It seems Krausen's grabbing the VPs. Well, I stand corrected. It seems like HQ Storm's taking Krausen's VP on the east side. Yep. And wow, the left side is also beginning to fall to Americans. This is really not good. He needs to get that force back into play. And we have an armored car coming from the Panzer Jaeger Command. That ought to unleash hell on the rifleman. <laughs> and conversely, we have an M8 coming out of the motor pool that the Allies built. Oh, goody. <laughs> wow. This does not look good. It, it's <laughs> very symmetrical battle. Yeah, very, very <laughs> similar build strats going on between these two. But there's a problem. The armored car probably won't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against an M8. 